XY is really the percentage change in our sales we're going to see if there is some percentage change in the price of Y. So we say, if we learn that they're going to raise the price of Y, that product, by 4%, What will that do to our sales? It will increase them. It will increase our sales, but now I'm going to use this formula to show how much our sales are going to increase. Okay? Where are you getting 4% of? I made that up. Okay. Good. Catch me on that stuff. I'll make stuff up and we'll tell you about it. Okay. All right? Here's what I've got to do. Here's my equation again. Sigma y, x y is the percentage change in my sales if there is some percentage change in the price of that other product. Now look at this. We know three of these numbers, two of these numbers, right? We know the coefficient is a positive 0.32. And we know that the competition, percentage change in price, they're going to raise it 4%. plus 4? So solve for the percentage change in my sales. And we're just going to cross multiply there, right? What do you get? About 1.28. Is it a positive number or a negative number? It is positive. Positive. It's a positive times a positive. Plus 1.28. Sales Increase. of X. Will increase how much? 1.28%. 1.28%. If you plug this in as 0 0.04, you'll get 0 0.0128. That's where you want to do it. Okay, so far? Yes, I missed. What does a 3.2 tell us when you find 3.2? Oh, 0.32. Oh, 0.32. Okay. That is the cross price elasticity of demand. Okay. For good X with respect to the price of good Y. Okay. It is how much is our sales going to change every time their sales, their price changes. Okay. And it, what it says basically is whatever, if theirs goes up by 1%, we'll go up by about one third of that. Okay. If this, the bigger this number, what if this number, what if we worked a different problem and this number was 1.94? What would that tell you about good Y? When they change their prices, positive. It's positive 1.94, but it's a big number as opposed to a little number. It yeah. tells you that when they change their price, it has a bigger impact on our sales. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question so far. Depends on which way they move their prices. Okay. If they raise their prices, we're going to be in good shape. Because our sales are going to go up a lot more. If they lower their prices, what? Our sales will decrease. Our sales will decrease by a bigger number. But if it came out negative, it'd be the opposite? Yeah. It will never come out yeah, yeah, if you had a negative coefficient, you, you're too good, so that's what we have for good C. Uh -huh. Your goods will be complements. Okay. So that if they raise their price, if they raise the price of batteries and we sell flashlights, what's going to happen? Our sales are going down. And the bigger the number, the, more the farther, further our sales fall. Or if they lower the price, the more our sales grow. Okay. So the size of the coefficient talks about how big an impact will this have on your business. And the sign of the coefficient tells you whether they're substitutes or complements. Okay? Let's do the last one with incomes. And we'll recognize that we could do the same kind of stuff here. We could do it with respect to advertising if we wanted to. I'm not doing it with Z, but it would be the same process, okay? Suppose we're, we're sitting here and we see the economy is going into a recession. What does a recession mean? Less spending money. People are spending less money. People are losing jobs, getting laid off, having their hours cut back, kind of like... Today, 9.1% unemployment, okay? So what if we 
what if we talked to the economists and whoever, and they said incomes are expected to fall, well, let's make it easy, by 10%. Is that good news or bad news for us? Bad news. Why is it bad news? We're normal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's bad news because we're selling a normal good. It has a positive coefficient. It's a normal good. If incomes fall, our sales are going to fall. Question, how much will our sales fall? So we go back and we calculate now the income elasticity. So the in, this is a little Greek letter eta, right? And this is the, the author uses this term over here, E sub QX comma M. Same thing, though. And we're going to calculate it, alpha M times M over QX. Alpha M is? 0.02. Positive 0.02. M is 18,000. And QX is 215. But with that okay? 2% mm -hmm. of 18,000 is 360. 360 over 215 is? I feel like we did that earlier. We did. Well, what's the answer? I forgot. 1.67. 1.67, cool. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. It's a positive income elasticity. So it's a normal good. Look at the 1.67. If incomes fall 10%, what's going to happen to our sales? And I'm going to go back to this thing, right? The percentage, I'm sorry. The income elasticity is the percentage change in our sales divided by some percentage change in income. We know the income elasticity is positive, 1.67. We know the change in income is negative 10, a fall of 10%. How much will our sales change? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Right sales. Will sales fall or rise? They will fall. They will fall. You're going to have a negative number, negative times a positive. Sales will fall by how much? What's 10 times 1.67? 16.7. 16 16.7. Sales will fall by 16.7%. That's what we would call what? A disaster for our company. That's a pretty big coefficient. That says our, our product is really sensitive to changes in income. Tell me to move if I need to. I take orders pretty well. Particularly from women. Is it negative 10 times 1.67? Negative 10 times positive 1.67, you get a negative 16.7. Because they're falling, so it's negative. Yes. Um, 16.7, what does that equal? Hmm? It's a percentage decline in our sales. Talk about what would happen if we spent another hundred dollars on advertising, because we could calculate our advertising, if you will, cross elasticity, and just put advertising up here, and we could say, well, what would happen if we spent bought one more unit or spent another hundred dollars on advertising, so that the six became a seven, and we could calculate that out and say, well, our, if we spent another hundred dollars, our sales would go up by this much, and we'd have a number. It wouldn't be totally accurate. All of this is fairly an estimate, but at least we have a sense of should we even be thinking about doing that. What if we calculated it out and said, well, if we spend another hundred dollars on advertising, we'll increase our revenue by forty-two dollars. What do we call that? A loss. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Why would you spend a hundred dollars to make an extra forty-two dollars? If you're in that business, let me know. I, uh, I'll be glad to consult with you and take your money.